welcome to your Tuesday maths lesson. Today we are learning how to convert between metres and centimetres, a very useful skill. Um, so to begin with, we are going to recap our learning of converting from metres to kilometres. We have done this loads of times, you should find this super duper easy. Um, so have a look, our first one is 6,000 metres. How would I convert that to kilometres? I wonder. Let's have a go. Um, so, first of all, we're going to pop ourselves a decimal place in our place value grid. Um, so, we obviously have our ten thousands, thousands, hundreds, tens, ones, and then we've got kind of our decimal area where we've got a tenth, a hundredth, and, oh, that should be a thousandth. I haven't noticed that. Sorry about that, guys. So, ha let's have a look now. We've got six thousands. Let's pop that in our place value grid. And we know that if we are converting to kilometres, we need to divide, and we are going to divide by three, uh, by one thousand, which is three jumps. Okay, so here we go. Let's do those jumps. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Okay, have a look here. We've got our plate, our um, decimal point. Do we need those zeros? Are they holding any value? They are not, let's get rid of them. So the answer to 6,000 meters is, um, into kilometers is six kilometers. Okay, next one. Right, for this one, we have got 52,000 meters. Let's pop that in our place value grids. Okay, we are going to jump Three spaces again, are we ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Okay, think about your decimal point. Do we need these? They're not holding any value, we can lose them. So, 52,000 meters in kilometer is 52 kilometers. Hopefully this is coming flooding back, guys. Right, now we're going to do the opposite. We've got some kilometres. We are going to put them into metres. Um, so let's make sure we've got our decimal point. We've got eight kilometres. Now this time, we need to multiply by a thousand. That means we are going to jump three spaces the other way, so our number will get bigger. Are we ready? One, two, three. And then, there's our decimal point. Do we just leave it there? We can't have an eight floating in thousands column and nothing in between. So we need to pop in some value, um, some zeros as place value holders. Okay, let's pop those in. Okay, so eight kilometers is the same as 8,000 meters. Nice and simple. Okay, and here we've got 12 kilometers Again, we're going to multiply by a thousand. We're going to jump three spaces. One, two, three. Yep, that's right. One, two, three. Pop in our place value holders that we need. So 12 kilometers is the same as 12,000 meters. Lovely. Okay, now let's get on to the task at hand, converting between meters and centimeters. So. In front of me, as I prepared earlier, I have a metre. As you can see, metres are fairly long. We are all several metres tall. Okay, and here we go. We have a ruler which has on it centimetres. So as you can see, centimetres are really, really small. And um, so there are a hundred centimetres in a metre. So I could get th three whole uh, 30 centimetre rulers and then a little bit extra, so 10 extra centimetres in this one metre. Can you see? So, uh, this means to convert from metres to centimetres, you need to multiply your number by 100 and to convert from centimetres to metres to the other way, you need to divide by 100 and that's what we are going to be doing today, year four. Okay, so again, let's pop in our decimal point. Keeps going away. Um, so this one, we've got five meters. 
we are going to convert that to centimetres. So we are going to multiply a bit by 100. So let's do that then. One, two jumps. Don't forget to get put in your place value holders. So five metres is the same as 500 centimetres. Lovely. Okay, now let's try 10, 10 centimetres. Okay, let's multiply this by 100. Are we ready? Two spaces, one, two, and again, one, two. Pop in your place value holders, which are really important, don't forget those. And 10 metres is the same as 1,000 centimetres. And lastly, very excitingly, we've got a decimal point, so we can finally use this bit of the grid. We've got 6.2, 6.2. So just like we were doing before, we need to move everything to spaces. Are you ready? One, two, and again, one, two. Pop in your place value holder and you will see that 6.2 metres is the same as 620 centimetres. Nice and easy. Okay, now we're moving to the opposite. We are going to convert these um, numbers from centimetres to metres. So let's pop in 400 centimetres. Let's get dividing. We're going to move three um, two spaces the other direction because we're getting smaller this time. Are you ready? One, two, and again one, two, and again one, two. Pop in your decimal point and you will see that 400 centimetres is the same as four metres. Simple. Okay, and again this time we've got 2,300 centimetres. We are going to divide that by 100. Are you ready? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. We pop in our decimal point. Do we need those? No, we don't. Let's get rid of them. So, 2,300 centimetres in metres is 23 metres. Perfect. Work that out. The last one, children, is 340 centimetres. So, remember we're dividing by 100 here to convert. So, let's move it two spaces. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, now do not be fooled, children. Have a look really carefully. So previously, everything after the decimal point would have been dropping because it doesn't hold any value. But have a look here. This does hold value. It holds four tenths, so do not get rid of that. Get rid of this zero, though, because that is not holding any value. And you will see that 340 centimetres is the same as 3.4 metres. Yay! There we go. Okay, so what we are going to do now, think about these questions. How many steps do we need to move when dividing by 100? Have a think. We need to move two steps. If I'm multiplying by 100, will my number become greater or less? Have a think. It's obviously going to get greater, isn't it? It's going to get larger. And true or false, one metre and 100 centimetres are equal. Who bits true? Who bits false? It is in fact true, they are the same length. Okay, so what you need to do, lovelies, is get up your worksheet. Here's warm, here's hot, here's spicy. Copy things out on a piece of paper and convert those for me. And then you will find later on on the sides all the answers. So let's not look at those yet. Okay, good luck.